memory right so data type will allocate memory data type will allocate memory for the data and the name given for the memory is what variable so what is the purpose of variable to access the data or to identify the data because everyone of you are what name what is the purpose of your name to identify the data or to access the data you can access by using the variable name now after this file if i try to print console pipeline of i here what is the output the output is 10 right and here if i write i plus plus console pipeline of i i plus plus meaning is what i is equals to i plus 1 i is equals to i plus 1 i is how much 10 10 plus 1 is how much 11 so i will be equal to 11 here the output is 11 is it clear so the meaning of i plus plus is increment the initial value by one time increment the initial value by one time so here i am trying to increment the i value by how many times one time here did you got it and here if i write again i plus plus the output is function dot pattern of i means the output is what 12 is it clear so that is about the increment or decrement part right that is about the increment part For example, if I write i minus minus, the meaning is i is equal to i minus one. i is equal to i minus one. For example, if I write int i is equal to ten, and there I write i minus minus. And uh, here, for example, I will print console dot <coughs> right line of i. Now, what is the output? It will print ten. It will print ten. Similarly, later if I try to write i minus minus, the meaning of i minus minus is i is equal to i minus one. I is how much? Ten. Ten minus one is how much? Nine. So now i is how much? Nine. So what is the output? Nine. And again if I write console dot write line of i, here the output is what? Nine. And again if I write i minus minus. The output is what eight because i minus one i is nine nine minus one is how much eight so increment and decrement these two plays the major role increment is used to increment the value by one decrement is used to decrement the value by one is it clear everyone right so here again we come to the for loop the first part is initialization part second part is condition part third part is statements. Fourth one increment condition statements increment condition statements increment condition statements. This loop will execute repeatedly again and again until the condition is satisfied. So initialization will run only for one time. That is for first time. Is it clear? So why am I writing one and five here? I am writing one and five for what purpose? To repeat the loop for how many times? Five times. That is the main reason why I am writing one and four. Five. Right now, how this loop will execute? Tell me also. So initially, I I will take one variable i. Initial i is how much? One. Initial i is how much? One. Next one less than equals to five. Condition one less than equals to five. If the condition is true, it will print the statement. Otherwise, it will come out of the loop. So here yeah, one less than equals to five. True or false? True. So the condition is true. So it will print the statement. Such a technologies. So here it will print such a technologies. Here it will print such a technologies. Next after statements again what? This is the third step. Statements. Next fourth step is increment. I plus plus. I plus plus means what? I is equals to I plus one. I is how much one? One plus one is two. One plus one is two. Now we can check the condition. So two will be overridden by what? One. Two less than equals to what? Five. Condition is true or false? True. Again, we will print the statement. Such a technology. Now again, I is equals to I plus one. So I is equals to how much? Three. So three less than equals to five. Condition is true or false? True. Again, we will print what? Such a technology. Third time, we are printing such a technology. That you have to understand. Now I plus plus I is equal to I plus one I is three 
3 plus 1, 5 is how much? 4. 4 less than equals to 5. Condition is what? True. And the fourth time I am printing such a technologies. Now i is equals to 5 plus 1. i is equals to 4. 4 plus 1 is how much? 5. So i is equals to what? 5. 5 less than equals to 5. Condition is what? True. Fifth time is printing what? Such a technologies. Now again increment of increment i is equal to 5 plus 1. 5 plus 1 is 6. So now i is 6. 6 less than equals to 5. Condition is false. Come out of the loop. Did you got it? Say what you want to understand here is why I am writing 1 here, 5 here. In this example you will not get any confusion. Because here I am printing such a technologies. Right? So you will not confuse. But in the next example differently people will get confused. Why I am writing 1 year, why I am writing 5 year. So what the clarity I am giving here is, I want to rotate the loop for 5 times. So I am writing 1 and what? 5. Did you got it? Now for example, I write int i is equal to 11, i less than equal to 15. Whether my example is right or wrong? You think all of it. If I write the initial value as 11, and i less than equal to 15, whether my example is right or any problem is there here. Right? It is 100% right. Because here, the initial value what I have given? 11. So 11 less than equals to 15. True. Print such a technology for first time. Now I plus plus. I is how much 12. So 12 less than equals to 5, 15. True or false? True. Print such a technology for second time. Now I is 12, 13. Right, print such a technology for third time. I is 14, fourth time. I is 15, fifth time. Here you have to concentrate, here is 11 and 15, 15 means here also you have rotated the loop for how many times? 5 times. Starting with what? 11. And 11, 12, 13, 14, and what? 15. So here also you have rotated the loop for how many times? 5 times. Is it clear? Or even I can write 21. In i is equal to 21, i less than equal to 25. Is it right or not? 100 percent right. Because I am starting with 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So how many times I am rotated in the loop? 5 times. Is it clear? Or if I write i is equal to 6, i less than equal to 10. Is it right or not? Right? Because here I am giving the initial value 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How many times I am rotated in the loop? Why am I writing initialization condition here is how many times I want to rotate the loop for that particular reason I am mentioning the starting initial value and what condition. Right? If you fix like this, you can do more number of examples in an easy manner. Otherwise, also you can develop more number of examples simply by byharding the concept. Right? Because so many people will get confused when you try to work with what the loops. I think I found this is the main problem or main reason where the students get confused to work with what loops. Right? So let us fix for this. Why we are doing the initialization, that is for the initial value and the condition why we are trying to write here. You have to mention that now. Is it clear? For example, if I ask you to write a problem, now you will get some confusion. Let us see. How many people will confuse and how many of you will not confuse? Right? So here, for example, if I ask you to print 1 to 10 numbers, if I ask you to print 1 to 10 numbers, how you will take this problem? Let us check it out. 1 to 10 numbers, how you will take this problem? Right? Let us check it out here. Right? For example, I want to print like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I ask you to print 1 to 10 numbers. Is it clear? So let us see how to print these numbers. Generally, if I want to print means, means repeatedly I am doing the same work. Repeatedly I am trying to print some number. That is my work. So how many times I ask you to print? 10 numbers I ask you to print. So here differently you know the range. So definitely go for what? For loop. <laughs> Always the easiest thing is first if you write the loop, right? If you write the for loop, that is the easiest 
think that what I am trying to believe. Then think about logic. Because logic will play a major role. That is the reason all the IT companies are focusing more upon this logical aptitude and reasoning exams. Nobody will ask you to write a problem in Java, write a problem in C sharp as a fresher, or write a problem in C. They will always focus on the logic. The logical thinking will play a major role. It will change the student attitude. Right? So it will play a major role. That is the reason all the companies will focus more on if you take any of the MNCs, most of them try to conduct the uh, exam, written test based on the logical questions, the aptitude questions or the reasoning questions, right? Because these questions will try to uh, change your attitude and it will try to make your brain to think in a much more manner. Did you got it? So here, yeah, two parts are there. I want to rotate the room for all the times, ten times. That you have to decide first. I want to rotate the room for all the times, ten times. So I will write here, for. Without any doubt, you can write. Initial, I will start with for. One. I less than equals to ten. I plus plus. Right? So I want to 